again. Hi, my name is Vicky and uh, this is a video on uh, Choreo Gonadotrophin Alpha or as you may by now it's brand name of a trail uh, which is a pre filled pen here. This is my last video on the set of in, uh, fertility injections. Um, I have been, for those of you who have been uh, watching me before, I have been doing um, video clips on Supercore and Gonal F. Um, I have done this, these sets of videos as an aid memoir for people who have been prescribed uh, this particular treatment and, and, and have also been watching me inject the injections in the previous two videos. Um, I'm working in NHS in London as a pharmacist and I'm also a patient receiving treatment. Now, um, Ovitrel um, is a synthetic version of a hormone called human chorion chorionic gonadotrophin or HCG. Uh, this injection is what you may ref hear the clinic refer to as a uh, trigger injection and is used to mature the eggs in the last stage before uh, egg extraction. Um, about just over one and a half weeks ago I was given um, Golden Life which is this uh, box here. Uh, I did a piece video on that. Uh, I took that for about um, just over seven days. After the first seven days I was get, uh, had an ultrasound and um, the, the ultrasound showed that the eggs weren't quite big enough um, and then uh, had to take the gonal left for a few more days. After three days I was having a, a, another ultrasound which was yesterday and I've been told that enough of my eggs are now of the right size and they just need the final uh, maturation stage and uh, that's it, it will be egg extraction uh, from that point. Um, as you can imagine I'm extremely excited, I, I have this past seven days uh, it's been extremely uncomfortable, I can actually feel it getting really, um, putting a lot of pressure down there, um, a lot of low abdominal pain, a little bit of a headache and it would just be nice to get, you know, get them removed and on their way to the next stage. Um, the, uh, when to start over trial, I'm just going to briefly talk about that. Um, this morning I gave myself the last injection of the Supercore, which is this little vial here. This is what I've been using for um, about two to three weeks of down regulation. I had about 50 units a day. And then uh, whilst I was taking the going left, uh, I had these reduced down to 20 units a day. So I had the last one this morning. I've used up the last of my going left last night. And the last thing to give was the, is the Overtrail. Um, the uh, the other trail I have to give my, I had to give myself at ten o'clock. Unfortunately, due to a slight technical hitch with the camera, I've actually given this about an hour ago. Um, I can show you if you watch the last in, uh, video I did on the go on the left. It's almost exactly the same um, pen. Uh, it's actually made by the same manufacturer. Um, the same um, twizzle effect where you had to pull to the two hundred fifty. The same and you just pushed it all the way down. Um, didn't feel any different, it's exactly the same thing. Um, so I apologise, I would have done it in front of you, but if you do want to see uh, an um, a demonstration of how you would do it, um, I just followed the Go on Left video. Um, the, it's very important for Ovitrol to be given at the precise time. I've been told to give it at 10 o'clock, which was about an hour ago. And 36 hours later, I'll be having the extract, egg extraction, which is about 10 a.m. on a Monday morning. Um, if you give it uh, too early, uh, the problem is that the eggs may have matured and they may already be released um, by the time they have a look down there, so that's not good. But if you also give it too late, uh, the eggs would not have matured enough uh, for the stir sperm to penetrate and may you may not have a successful fertilisation. So unfortunately, even though my battery ran out, this still had to go ahead, so I have gone ahead and injected as per normal. Um, the final thing for me to say is that uh, uh, even though that injection cycle is now over, I've got a lovely suppository to give to myself an hour before um, I leave the home um, and in preparation for my egg extraction. And pretty much soon thereafter egg extraction, I have got to look forward to these bad boys here, which are apparently pessaries, progesterone pessaries, which are used to help prepare the lining of my womb. Um, it, well 
hopefully when uh, when the uh, fertilized eggs are ready to go back into me which is hopefully about roughly about two to five days later after egg extraction so you've got to do this until your, your doctor says uh, when to stop um, hopefully if all successful um, I should be able to continue these for a while but uh, just listen to your doctor whenever you need to um, uh, start and stop obviously if it's unsuccessful you don't need to um, continue taking these um, don't forget also final thing after you've uh, finished all your injections um, as I said that's the last one uh, remember give, to give this back to clear you don't need this anymore um, some pharmacies may accept sharks box but to be honest this really should go back to your clinic because the arrangement's been made with them um, the last thing I suppose finally is that um, Thank you for watching me um, for all these videos I've been doing. I hope they've been really useful. Um, it's certainly been a journey for myself and um, I wanted to make something which was useful um, useful to you because um, in the, in the, in the, the, with the best will of the world, even though you sit in the clinic, you have your one-to-one -one with your nurses. It's not possible to retain everything. So I hope this is, has been this whole um, video has been useful to you, and uh, I wish you all the best of luck in the world. Fingers crossed, and um, wish you good luck. Take care. Bye bye.